Hi, we get asked a lot of questions about OCO. People are wondering if we can show some live event footage or cooperating at an event. We would love to do that. Unfortunately, those are private events and it's not always possible to share that footage for, for obvious reasons. So instead, we're setting up this OCO Model C in the studio environment and we're just going to take a quick look at its basic operation. If you're not familiar with OCO at all, what it is, it's an automated robotic photographer. Uh, that, of course, is a mouthful. What it basically is, it's an intelligent camera system designed for entertainment, designed to promote brands, and, of, of course, create great memories. And the way it operates is, it's got sensors, it's got a, a DSLR quality camera inside, and uh, it's all powered by AI magic, and that makes it fully hands-off, no screens to touch, a two-year-old can use it. And uh, that's what's really exciting uh, about OCO. It's basically a mix between a human photographer, a photo booth, and a selfie camera. It's a, it's a new kind of an engagement that we think is basically the future of how the event photography, or a part of the future of how event photography is going to happen. So, without further ado, let me just make it do something for us. So right now, the robot is scanning the room. The sensors are on, it's plugged in. And it's not seeing me because I'm away from the sensors. Uh, let's pretend that I'm a guest at a party. I walk in front of the robot. Oh, I see myself on a screen. And it immediately starts, as you can see, it starts moving its head, trying to actuate. And it's uh, still trying to find the right angle on uh, on me and on this subject here, which is our uh, test. Uh, this is our test dummy that we use to obviously test the device. So that's why it loves it so much. Uh, so as you saw, the photo was taken and the robot would keep doing that at infinite. As long as I'm willing to be photographed, the robot's going to photograph me. If I'm not willing to be photographed and I just walk, uh, walk by, nothing's going to happen. So, you know, I, I come here, I go back, and the robot is not taking my photo just because it sees me. It also wouldn't take my photo if I were sort of, uh, you know, not facing it. So it needs to see some engagement. Like in this case, so it saw me, it even makes the sound. You see it's perfectly framed, and now goes the shot. Hey! So, uh, we, the exposure here is terrible. I just set it up so that we can run those quick uh, demonstrations. Typically what you do, if you own one of those devices, you spend a few minutes ahead of time to, uh, to basically make the lighting work for you. The head on OCO can pan and tilt to cover the entire room. So if I am very tall or if it's a child, that will still work. So maybe let's try that. Let's, let's pretend that I'm a little kid. And let me sit down. So as you can see, OCO is uh, tilting its head down. Again, uh, framing a perfect shot and a countdown and those lights, they attract your sort of sight towards the camera and there's, uh, there's not a picture. So that's it. The photos have been taken. How do we access them? Well, there's an instruction here on the screen that prompts you to scan uh, this QR code from your phone. There are basically two models that people at the event can use to access their photos. You as an owner of the device can set up a kiosk where people see all the photos being uploaded in real time. They will select them and then print or share on Facebook or download. Or the me method that we prefer is uh, using the QR code scanner. This is the QR code and this is a generic Android phone. I don't have any special apps here installed or anything. This is uh, the built-in Android uh, camera iPhone has the same uh, kind of a setup. You start the camera app, and as soon as I aim this at this barcode, as soon as the camera focuses, uh, which it just did, the pop-up comes up. On iPhone, it's a very similar thing. I click that uh, pop-up, and it takes me to an album, which uh, contains all the photos that uh, have just been taken. So those are the last few shots, and a couple of shots before. I will select them and I will say that I want those photos. Uh, the site will ask for my name. That's my name, Greg, my email. 
there it is. Hit OK. That's it. So now I have those photos in my in my mailbox. Sent me as a link to a sort of a, a special album that we create for that user who requested them. Now it's not always email. Right now we we're operating in what's called a lead collection mode, and that is when you want to collect people's emails. If you don't want to collect people's emails, then scanning this could be set up such that it takes you directly to an album where you can download, share, or print without going through the email pipeline. So that's basically it in the nutshell. What else can I say? We will have more videos uh, that describe the device in greater detail. And uh, if you have more questions, shoot us, a, uh, shoot us an email at support at oko.io or put a comment to this video but better shoot an email to the support because we're not always monitoring uh, the, the video channel so that's it hope this was somewhat useful and i'll see you soon